Jason. Four years ago, I never would have thought that I would be standing here today marrying the guy at the gym that stayed on the treadmill for two hours. <laughs> I once thought that true love didn't exist until I met you. You made me believe that true love is something special and something sacred and that shouldn't be taken for granted. You have loved me without fault since the day we met. You always have faith in me and my abilities, even when I do not have faith in myself. Your drive, your patience, and compassion for others inspire me every day. I promise to always love you and to always cherish you, to stand by you when times are hard, and triumph in your victories. To try to be more patient, like you are with me when I take 20 minutes to walk out of the door <laughs> after saying bye to Maximus 23 times. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and your strengths as you do mine. I take you above all others today to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. I love you to the moon and back. can be seated. May the Lord bless you for coming. Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the presence of God and these witnesses to join this man, Jason Jernigan, and this woman, Katie Stanfield, in holy marriage. Jason, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you pledge thy troth to her in all love and honor? 
in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her, cherish her according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage. If so, answer, I will. I will. Katie, will you have this man to be thy husband? Will you pledge thy troth to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him, cherish him, according to the ordinance of God and the holy bond of marriage? If so, answer, I will. I will. All right. I like the enthusiasm. That's the way it started out. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. All right. All right. So what if I told you that when we met, it didn't take long for me to figure out that we would be standing right here? It was fate. But I also knew in the beginning that it wouldn't be easy. I knew I'd have to be patient. I knew I'd have to wait. I understood at the time that we met you needed a friend, a shoulder to lean on, and you needed your space. But today I wanted to tell the entire story, and in front of God and everyone else, I want to plead my case. Our very first conversation we had, there was an instant connection. Your smile, your laugh was completely infectious. I constantly talked to God about you and asked him to lead me in the right direction. I told him I understand that no one is perfect, but you were the closest thing I had seen to perfection. But I never thought I deserved someone like you. I never thought I had earned a gift of that magnitude. Because at, at that time, I was at my lowest point, rock bottom, and my outlook had changed my attitude. <clears throat> you know it's crazy how one instance can change a life how one day can change the night, how any wrong can be made a right, and how one woman that was a stranger five years ago became my wife. Things won't always be easy. Things will get hard. Life will get chaotic, and love will seem far. In times like this, we must dig deep and remember our hearts, figure out what went wrong, then we must reconnect and go back to the start. To appreciate something truly beautiful, you must first fall in love with the scars. And baby, if you want to land on the moon, you're going to have to shoot for the stars. <laughs> I, want to make, I want you to make me a promise. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do something, including me, because only you and God know who you truly can be. I, Jason, take you, Katie, to be my wedded wife. And that journey begins tonight and for the rest of our lives. No matter the circumstance, I will give you the best of my heart from this day forward until death do us part. I love you, baby girl, to the moon and back. <laughs> then back again and again <laughs> for infinite laps. Amen. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Jason? You may kiss your bride. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Jason and Katie Jernigan.
We've got Lauren Fields, escorted by Jeff Rice. We've got Colin Waddell, escorted by Dylan Green. We've got Julia Wright, escorted by Ian Allison. Your maid of honor, Molly Stanfield, escorted by best man, Dean Brown. Now everyone rise to their feet, please. Mr. and Mrs. Jernigan! everybody's face here today. This is the best day of our lives, so thank you all so, so much for, for being here and celebrating with us. I really appreciate it. Go to this. Sticking keys in a light socket <laughs> to flipping four wheelers and taking adventures on horses to growing up proms and now your wedding. My best wishes to both of you. Many, many, many years. So I've been put on the spot, um, but pretty much I've known both of these guys for about four years now. Um, love them with all my heart. Both of them are my best friends. I uh, wish all the best of luck, and uh, I'm always here for you guys. Thank you. Uh, uh, a dream come true so I'm standing here with my hand held out knowing that you love just a song tell me where does the time go
let's hear it for the father of the bride and the bride herself.